welcome back to my channel today i would be explaining you how to create a hotel reservation system it's actually meant for the class 10 icc school projects and you can refer to my channel for other projects as well so i'm a software developer and a mentor and i would be helping you to understand the computer projects for class 10 how to create a hotel reservation system let's move over so before continuing with any type of projects so first and basic point is that you have to understand the problem statement so this slide is all about the problem statement of this particular project so we have to create a hotel reservation system which will enable the users to book the rooms of the hotels so there is a hotel and suppose there are some single uh, single bed rooms there are double bed rooms there are triple bed and deluxe and, and so on there can be multiple types of rooms right and there can be there are there are the availability is also a factor suppose i have 10 rooms in my hotel and someone has booked uh, already 10 rooms are full so if any user comes and asks for me that can i book a that room because no i would say that no you cannot book because already my capacity is full so that intelligence also we have to add in our program so we would be having a hotel which has several types of rooms and the price is also defined for different rooms you would ask the user about the details of the uh, customers like name phone number and the number of days they are going to stay in my hotel and we would calculate the bill amount and we print the bill accordingly and that is one aspect and so and that another aspect is the uh, that availability factor there would be a logic that we would implement that would intelligently handle that uh, whether the number of uh, that, that that particular room is available or we can fit them there or not okay so this is the problem statement that we have to uh, create a hotel reservation system now let's check out what are the important aspects or concepts that we are going to use so we, this program would be a menu driven program a choice driven program so there would be a list of choices available like there would be a, a list of menu uh, there would be a list of rooms actually where they can see the single sharing double sharing or deluxe super deluxe etc and the prices would be also printed on the screen so the user can select any of the option in the list and they can uh, then our program would be checking whether that type of room is available or not we can fit them in or not if we can fit them in then we would ask how many persons are going to stay or how many days they are going to stay and all those details we would take input from the user using console input but if the number if that particular room type is not available then we would straight away we print a message and say that your room that type of room is not available please uh, book another type of room according to your convenience and according to the persons that you're going to stay okay that is one part so we would execute that using a menu driven program menu driven approach and if the logic that we are going to write that would be inside a while loop that is going to run infinitely the whole logic would be inside a infinite loop the code snippet that i have shown in that uh, slide you can see that there is a condition is true always so that means this particular piece of code would run infinitely and it can only be controlled by the user choice means if the user wants to stop that if they press some keys that we are going to define in the program if suppose i have i have given a message that if you if we press yes then it would continue to the next reservation for the next customer and if we press no then it would terminate the program so if the user presses no and types no and press and spreads uh, enter then the program would get terminated the infinite loop get terminated so this infinite loop can only be terminated by the user choice so it is user user choice controlled infinite loop okay so the code snippet also says that only the statements are there and there is a condition if that condition is true we have used a break statement now this break statement is a jumping statement and this break statement it stops the while loop in which while in the while loop it is there in the loop there can be for loop while loop do while loop any loop but the break statement what it does it jumps it out of the jumps the control out of that program that out of that loop so it terminates the loop in one word so this is the aspect you can pause the program and uh, take some notes here because these are the areas from where you can expect some viva questions so this is very uh, very much important don't skip it so we are going to use choice driven program using console input and why were you, another in, in very much important question is that why are we are using infinite loop the answer is that if we don't use infinite loop uh, then it would be very problematic for 
suppose n number of customers are going to come in my hotel today i don't know i don't know what is the number n right today there can be 10 persons going to stay in my room uh, in the rooms of my hotel there can be 20 persons uh, coming to my hotel for reservation in the next day and this number is not predictable this is unpredictable number right so that's why we have to give the logic inside a while loop and that can only be terminated using the choice given by the user if the user wants to terminate the program then only it can get terminated and this the number of times the while loop exe- executes is not actually defined or that is not actually predictable so that's why we have to use a infinite loop here now next next aspect what we are going to discuss is about the console input so console input is the pattern person of this particular program because whatever we are saying we are taking input from the user and giving that output to the console window so this inputs are going to come from the terminal window to the program via input stream so this input stream is working with the help of some special classes that is already provided by java and those are there are two types of classes one is the buffer reader and there is a scanner class these two classes helps us to take input from the console from the terminal window and that input is being transported to the a particular java program so here we are going to use the buffer reader and we here the code snippet shows you that how to create a buffer reader object and then in the program we would utilize this object and then using some predefined methods inside the buffer reader like the read line method we would read the lines from the console window and utilize that in our program now you can refer to whatever stuffs we have discussed as so far now that is already i have posted that in this blog inside this website www.onlinestudysmart.com it's actually a open source development community that i am going to uh, start and that is the website onlinestudysmart.com you can refer to the blog section in this website and you can refer to the project that we are particularly working on suppose the hotel reservation system you can go over there read and create your project and get the guidance and if you have some queries you can also post that in the uh, comment section i can answer that that is the resources part where you can refer next let's discuss about the uh, source code and get this let's discuss the source code and then you can uh, find the output as well just uh, as we were discussing we are, have made the buffer data object that would be using for the console input and there are room types and rents stored in the array so there are single occupancy rooms double occupancy triple occupancy deluxe super deluxe king size cottage tent etc there are different types actually and we have different prices set for the different types of rooms and the room count is the total capacity actually for single occupancy we have five rooms we have double occupancy we have 10 rooms and so on so this is my finite number of rooms in my capacity in my hotel so if someone books a single occupancy room now the room count would be decreased by 4 decreased by 1 so it becomes 4 and so on so this is actually to keep a record of my capacity now inside this while loop you can see that i have put all the code inside this while loop right the while loop ends over here just before the function ends that means this whole piece of code whatever i have written inside this one that is going to run infinitely unless the user stops that okay intentionally so that is actually exit is controlled by the user so i have first what i have done i have printed the menu like press this key for this type of room and the it is available number of is also shown here and the rent is also shown here so i am printing the menu here just i was talking that i, I have done a menu driven program so this is the menu that we have printed and our choices would be input using console input this is the console input and then we can uh, run our program logic accordingly so this is the part where we are going to take which type of room the user wants pressing the option it can refer to which type of room they have uh, they are going to opt and likewise then according to the room type we would first check whether the number of rooms that is available now is greater than 1 or not greater than equals to 1 or not if it is uh, it is greater than equals to 1 means it is non zero then we can fit that person there right so that that particular logic we have set here so if it is equals to zero then that means that we don't have that type of room available now the capacity is full so we are printing the message that sorry that type of room is not available so you can uh, continue with some other rooms that particular logic we have implemented here 
and suppose the number of that that particular room is already available so what we have done we have first decreased the count of that room and then we are proceeding with getting the details from the user like what is the name of the customer what is the phone number of the customer and what are the number of days the customer is going to stay over there and all those things when we are done with the details of the customers like what are the number of days they are going to stay what is the name what is the phone number and all those stuffs then we are just going to print that bill so here we have used a user defined method that is print bill method and in that print bill method what we are sending we are sending the name the phone number the room type the rent and all those informations we are sending over to the print bill now the print bill method would be invoked and inside that print bill method we are going to print the bill of that particular process so we are printing the hotel that this is that hotel this is a bill number we have used a method random method to generate dynamically unique bill numbers and then we are printing details of the customer like name phone number room type number of days they are going to stay and all those stuffs and then we are calculating that number of days into room rent equals to total number of rent, total rent right so we have pay, uh, also printed the total payable amount that the customer has to pay while checking out so this is the print bill method that would be used for printing the bill you can pause the video and you can uh, take notes of different sections of the program and you can act likewise so after printing the bill what we have done we have asked the user that is there any another is there another customer standing over there if yes means you want to continue to the next reservation so then if the customer is the person in the reception presses yes then it would continue to the next processing so next processing means it would come over here and again it would hand over to the next iteration continue statement jumps over to the next iteration break statement cuts off from the loop so if the user presses yes so it hands over to the next iteration and if the person presses anything other than yes then the uh, the loop would get broken so break statement would be executed and the loop stops loop stops means this whole while loop this infinite loop would stop and it would end the process so this is how we are going to control this application and the in exit is controlled by the user choice yes or no that one okay now let's compile that and run and see how the output looks like in the terminal window we are starting that method so see here is the menu printed like press this this keys for this type of rooms this is the available number in my system and this is the rent that each room has now what type of room i want to have? i want to have a double occupancy room i press 2 what is my what is the name of the customer name of the customer is this one suppose now what is the phone number like this is the phone number okay sorry like this is the phone number and what are the number of days i want to stay here for two days right so like two now it has got printed the bill what is the bill number what is the name of the customer phone number the room type number of days they are going to stay and the total payable amount now again it is asking whether you are going to proceed to the next reservation suppose i press yes then it is again printing that type of room so double occupancy got decreased by 9 the by 1 right now suppose i want to again book another double occupancy room and i have to start giving the customer name like suppose here is the customer name and phone number is this one and number of days i want to stay for 3 days so this is the double occupancy room is booked now if i want to get to the next reservation now see the double occupancy got decreased by further by one so here we are updating the number of rooms also so available number is getting decreased if we book that particular rooms type of rooms right and for taking the screenshot what you do you process a particular request name of the customer and then you give the phone number then give the number of days of booking I generate the bill and press end to exit so i'm pressing end to stop the process and now you can copy this one and paste it in your word document and you can uh, copy this output and show to the project file uh, keeping the project file or etc so this is all about the program of the hotel reservation system if you have any queries let me know in the comment section or you can go over in the uh, online studysmart.com and you can go to the blog section and you can also land over to the blog page and 
land over to the blog that is meant for that go to the site and you can study from there as well that's all about the program you can find the source code also in the blogs so go to this website and start reading so i have created this free content just for you just uh, for enlightening you you can please subscribe the channel and let us know what we should post and how we should grow in the comment section or the topics that you are facing some issues we can also make a video on that and help to enlighten you that's uh, pretty much from me today so it takes a lot of efforts to create such a content and it's very much desirable that you please subscribe and hit the bell icon and uh, motivate us to create more content for you thanks meet you in the next video